What's up everybody? Andrew Steele here. Today I am with my friends. Hey What's up, Andrew? Andrew? What's Tyler going on? and Cord from Midlife Bravo. <laughs> How's it oh, going? So we're here right now, oceanfront right now in California. What's going on right now? Dump day. <laughs> Dump slash move day. <laughs> we're moving sites today. We're um, glamping, aka boondocking here on the Bluffs in Carlsbad. And uh, we move about every seven or eight days because our tanks are big enough for us to hold that much water. So um, we're just going to move and um, maybe you want to join us and see how the process is done. Awesome. Let's go see how they set up a Prevo dump. We're going to see it all. Come along. <laughs> so one of the cool things and things you got to concern yourself with the Prevo slides is you have to have a window cracked or something because they are so airtight. Um, the one thing I wish they had just press a button and, and leave it, but these systems, you have to hold the button down, watch the green light. If there ever is a problem in the whole sequencing that goes on, that thing will flash a certain sequence so you have an error code you can actually check. Uh, it's kind of neat that way. Right now, it basically is, it depressurizes the airbag that seals it, allows the slide to come in, and then now it'll pressure back up, and then there'll be some slide pins that go in to lock that slide in place. And then that's done. That's so that's about a 40 second there. The back one's a smaller slide, so it probably comes in in around 40 seconds versus a minute. Come on back. Cool. And they always put them in different spots, which is a little bit challenging. But uh, this one, for example, is hidden in behind here. It's a simple button again. We'll just press and hold down the end. And hopefully, I don't get ran over in the process. <laughs> This one, you'll hear it. Occasionally, I need to lift my tag. It has, it's an air system setup, but as you can see, it's moving smoothly now. This is a super good video here. Yeah, so you wait until you hear those pins move and that's when it's locked in. Nice. Yeah, the, uh, the control panel will actually give me a, uh, the green light will go off when everything's been in travel mode, ready to roll. Nice. That's guys all set to go. Nice. Pretty simple setup. Yeah. And the one that we always have on our checklist is to make sure to bring down the dish. So oh yeah! People roll down the road with the dish up. So has, has that ever happened to you before? Not us, but we've had to flag people oh, down I've, on the road to say. Oh, I've seen it myself. Yeah. <laughs> we almost need a uh, like a white dry erase board to write down your dish is up and then stick it on the window <laughs> so they Seriously. can communicate. Seriously. Um, yeah. What else? What other steps do you take in the process? Your slide outs in. What other steps did you take? We, I literally run a, uh, a checklist on my cell phone, so it walks me through the sequence of it all. For example, we don't bring the slides in until the whole chassis is aired up. We hear the blow off, check the gauges, make sure we're at 120. Um, it's just, you know, make sure everything's, the slides are clear, there's nothing in the way. We've had an accidental cabinet door that was a hair open and jammed, and uh, that gets a little uh, intense. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> word for it. Um, yeah, all in all, it's really about maybe taking a little more time, that extra step. I always try to walk around tire pressure monitoring system I always turn on before I fire up so I can kind of see where things are at. Nice. Um, just simple, just I, good practices. Yeah, absolutely. So you, where are you at right now in the, in the process? We are, we are done. We are ready cool. to lift tag to do this tight turn here and then we get to go do the state park dump. Cool. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so that's kind of a aqua hot off, aqua hot on. <laughs> <laughs> We need a better system, but it's not bad. <laughs> hey, it works. <laughs> and it's cheap. It's cheap. One sticky note. <laughs> you lose it, you're not too much of a concern. Before you leave, can you give me my phone? Oh, oh yes. I'm not sitting on them, am I? No. Oh, here you go. Thank you. My pleasure. Items if it's your wife, and that 
pop right there was one of the pins. Sometimes the pins don't set in perfectly. It'll scare the living crap out of you at times, but knowing it's all good. Oh, seriously, this is like... And this is windows open. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even buttoned up. I, I do, I have to I have to get a rolling shot here from these panoramic windows oh, here. Yeah. I mean, this is... We got another one, we got to go all the way. Oh, awesome. It's like so smooth, even though we're only going like, like we just went over a huge pothole in the road there. And even though we're only going like 15 miles an hour, like it's so smooth, uh, just a whole nother ball game above like my coach. Yeah, it was what sold us on them. We were, we've had several fiberglass coaches. Uh, Country Coach was one of our favorites, non slide coach, a beast, I think, would run hard. And then a re more recently, a Monaco Executive 43 tag drove so nice. That tag axle was, a, I think, a savior when it comes into winds and such. And then I made the mistake of driving one of these. <laughs> and it was uh, definitely a, another level up. Huge pothole we just went over and my coach would have, um, we would add like two or three kind of wobbles and this was just like, you barely felt it. Yeah, and then some of the, I don't know why, but some of the interior, you just hear less rattling. Um, I don't know why, the, maybe the fiberglass and new ones are in that game where they've learned uh, their cabinetry work and everything's better, but um, it just you don't feel that or hear that, which is... Yeah, I don't, yeah, no, no squeak, yeah, no squeaks and rattles, like we, we've gone over some really big potholes and stuff here, like I actually see one coming, coming up that we're about to go <laughs> over and like I haven't heard any squeaks and rattles at all, so here's the one that we're about to go over right now. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> and then this turn to the so you just put your tag up and that's what caused the beeping? Yeah, I get it. It's uh, notifying you that the tag is up so you don't accidentally drive down the road at 70 miles an hour with it in the air. But um, for me, I notice it gives me a little bit tighter turning radius and then not to mention you don't get the rear tire scuff or your tag tire scuff as much. Totally. Yeah, my wife Heather always gets nervous when I'm tight maneuvering into either regular gas stations instead of the truck stops and such. And I always refer to, I can, we can go anywhere a fire truck can go. Yeah. And uh, it kind of appeases her mind and maybe gives me a false sense of security as well <laughs> at times. It keeps, it's usually never an issue unless you got a tow behind you and then you got to worry about not being able to back up. Yeah. With just the coach right now, you can usually 10 point your turn and get out of almost anywhere. Yeah. I say that as I'll probably <laughs> button myself in here. If that happens, I'll have it on camera. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Full documentation. But yeah, I mean, look to your right here, Andrew. You can see the beautiful oh, yeah. escape of the. I mean, it's just one of those spots here in California that. We love to come. It is dry camping, so you do have to monitor your water usage a little bit um, and then run your generator you gotta run generate a little more than normal so you're totally dry camping here or yep. oh nice yeah this is uh, there's limited full hookup sites but not many and there are, it'd probably be easier to get a meeting with the president as opposed to getting one of those sites. this is oceanfront property right here right not very much money a night. Yeah, that will keep a secret though. <laughs> <laughs> Being that we have a 180 gallons of fresh, so we want to limit how much time we're going to hang here. Yeah. Makes sense. All right, Heather says right. we're good. It's time to dump. Leave that down. <laughs> oh, I got it. That's sweet. There's like two of them. One little extra. Just 
I don't know, that might be a thumbnail right there. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we're And you guys aren't wasting any time. You guys like have done this once or twice before. It looks this is like. my first day. How am I doing? <laughs> we might be the only couple that almost fights to get the job that Heather's doing right now. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Just something's like. Uh, I want to get it done. Like taking a shower. I don't know. What. Oceanfront dumping right here. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> well, very glamorous. <laughs> so the beauty of this, how Millennium did this conversion, it allowed us to, we can actually flush either tank or both simultaneously off of our water pump. Our water pump is quite substantial. Um, it's almost like a pool, pu uh, pool pump style. Um, can't remember the name of the brand, but they are a... Uh, this is a Mach 5. I can't remember the name. They are an expensive pump, but they are ideal. Nice. The other thing that to consider with these or this conversion, which is a little bit different than your average motor coach, is when we're hooked up to, say, a full hookup site, we'll hook up our water hose here that's on a retractable reel. I'll show you that when we uh, fill our tanks here. But we have a water fill button. So we have to hit the water fill button to fill our tanks. And it runs, it does not run off the of city water. It always runs off of the pressure of the actual pump within there. So you never have pressure issues. You never can blow plumbing fittings out and such. So that is kind of a safe measure for the, uh, for the coach itself. So there, we're about done there, Heather. If you wanna... It's still going. So then here, I'll show you. This is a pretty simple, I gotta get a better tool for this, but it's literally... Go. Now we should be flushing. Is our water pump on? Yes. Actually, we might be low on water, Heather, so let's fill up with our water first. Okay. So do you always pull it all the way out? No, I just know I gotta go a little ways here. We may have to do it next time. Okay. Oh, this one doesn't here doesn't work. That one's for flushing only. Oh, we're gonna okay. Fill our water tank. I see. So I'm gonna grab a little booster hose. How long does it usually take uh, to fill up the freshwater tank? Ooh. Oh, 20, 20 minutes probably. I'd say 180 gallons. Um, really dependent never... on the pressure we have at yeah, wherever we true, are. True. Yeah, and it's something took 30 minutes. Yeah. So it took 15. But... Yeah. It's always never fast enough for the people that are waiting. <laughs> We've had other, you know, we've had a Monaco, we've had a Country Coach, so we kind of had, it's a whole different deal again. It is. It's all the This is so awesome that you guys are letting me film you guys okay. do the most, uh, you know. <laughs> Clamping. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's reality, and I don't want people to be afraid to boondock because I mean everything is contained. It's very. We have gloves on board. There's fresh, or not fresh water, but I mean water. You don't want to drink it, obviously, but it's just it's very easy once you learn a few times. Once you lose, I've never lost the slinky though. I've never lost control of the slinky. Thank <laughs> I did slinky. the stinky slinky. I've never never done that, thankfully, but. That's the important part. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hope you guys learned something. Can't thank Court and Heather enough for showing you guys the whole setup. So greatly appreciate all of you that are watching. Hope you're all having a great day. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more cool stuff and meet more cool people like this.